So in season one, we saw a lot of the the, the physical side of Selena, and like in season two, gonna focus a little more on the the mental side of it. You know, like, you know, getting to know you know behind all those moves and all that. Both. We're going to be revealing part of her backstory that will cause her to try and figure out where she's supposed to be, whether she's supposed to be a bad guy or a good guy. And with that, I think she will be doing a lot of physical things. So I think it'll be a mix of both. Oh, yeah, I love it. Have you been doing any training to prepare for the physical aspect? Well, I'm a dancer, so I've been dancing and. Um, Hardcore training and working out and with my dad. Yeah. In the comics, she is very ambiguous on both sides. She'll sometimes play good, sometimes play bad. Yes. But last season, it's easy. She kind of crossed the line. Like, definitely crossed the line. How is that going to affect your relationship with Bruce? It will affect their relationship in an interesting way. Um, because she only does bad things for good reasons. Um, so... And that, for that reason, I don't consider her a villain. Um, but we're definitely going to be exploring how it affects Bruce and her relationship. And will Selena find any new friends to play with? She's kind of I think so. I think she will. Um, you know, because she's trying to figure out where she stands, she's going to be hanging out with different types of people. So. I'm really excited about that too. Play with new characters. Because I'm usually doing scenes on my own and you know, just doing our own thing. Well, Ivy's still around, right? You still got to have I'm, I'm, I assume so. Okay. <laughs> I love Claire, so. Yeah. Are you going to do villains you're looking forward to? I. 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 <laughs> well, Tigress, you uh, I'm just, I really, I'm, I'm really excited for them to, I want Harley Quinn to appear on the show. I think that would be really cool. So that's who I'm hoping to. I don't know if it's going to happen this season, but do you think we should be possible? I don't know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and what is her relationship with Bruce going to be this year? Because it, it went, you know, and like like in the comic, in the film, the TV show, that it all goes back and forth and so. But um, what is it going to be this year? Are they going to because you know as she's searching for herself, is Bruce going to be there to help her a little bit with that? Because you helped her, him. That's where they have their issues because Bruce doesn't agree with Selena's thought process and. That causes conflict with any relationship. Um, so I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> Can you um, repeat the question? Uh, is um, is Bruce gonna be there for her this year as she's doing this big journey search, basically? Oh, be, be there for her? I I doubt it. He's. I mean, he may. Um, that would that part would be a Bruno Zani question, but Bruce is figuring out what's going on with Wayne Enterprises and his dad's cave and Selena is trying to figure out what's going on with her life so I think this year will be more about the, what causes the conflict of their relationship later on than him trying to help her because he doesn't understand her. Does that make sense? No, no, that makes sense. I okay. totally, I get it. In the end of season one, Selena had kind of joined up with Fish Mooney until she saw it got a little too heavy. Yeah. And then, where do we find her in the first three episodes? She's hanging out with some people you don't expect, especially after the finale. Uh, so, I was, really, I was really excited to work with the people that I got to work with. And, um, very cool. Yep. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Yep. And, um, yeah. How much is she part of the story in the first two episodes? She, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in majority. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I can't, I can't she really She has say. significant part. Uh, yeah, I, I can't really say that. But I'm in, yeah. <laughs> every, everyone should tune in every episode. <laughs> yeah. Danny, Danny mentioned earlier that she'll be looking. What was the name of the character? Tigress. Tigress. Um, he told us that. Earlier. Oh, 
<laughs> and that she will be getting hints about weapons and things that she might be able to use in the future. What she's interested in. Um, <laughs> what she wants to steal. Ooh, gossip. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much do you look forward to working with Tigress then? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> do you know much about Tigress as a character? I'm not, honestly, not much. Um, but I will now. I'll get my research because I didn't know that. to her family because we don't really know much about it. We're going to be unveiling a part of her backstory. I don't know when. Maybe tonight at a DC panel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I say it as a maybe. <laughs> Away from Watson, how much fun is it to play this game? It's amazing. I love her because she's very complex and I love my wardrobe and She's just a great character to play. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> She's a great 